CD and the songs playing went up and just thrilled the crowds out there. So he just clips the palm trees and lands on the front lawn of the Potter Hotel. The people just go ballistic. They come streaming out of the hotel. They pull him out of the airplane. They're toasting him with champagne. I mean, he just got a rock star's welcome to the Potter Hotel. When the Lockheeds decided to come down here, their first airplane of anything was a, was a homemade, what they called Model G seaplane. Top star Mary Miles Minter christened the airplane when it was on its initial voyage down the ramp. The plane took off and it was a great success for the Lockheed brothers. Ovington, it was really a dangerous stunt to have this large sack of meal on his lap while he's trying to fly a plane. And he knew that he couldn't land the plane with this bag, so he made arrangements beforehand to let the field in Mineola know that he was going to just throw it overboard. I remember going out there and watching the DC-3 come in and landing on a dirt, dirt field. Well, United Airlines, and it's kind of its former self, um, started service uh, at the Santa Barbara Airport, actually before it was the Santa Barbara Airport, in 1936. The community voted, and the headline said 10,000 people to vote, and the bond issue was $149,000, and the community purchased the land for their designated as a Santa Barbara Airport. My father lived at a very interesting time because he learned to fly in a Jenny, and his last airplane was a twin-engine jet. So uh, it was a pretty interesting time in aviation. We certainly aren't going to see that again. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941. With the creation of the Marine Base, suddenly we've got a much greater demand for flying, especially for landing strips. The target plane would fly straight and level, but the other planes would dive past the target and you'd have to shoot at it as you went by, or they'd come up this way, you have to shoot at it as you went back up. One of the clubs here in town put on these uh, sports car road races, and the old fly line restaurant was right in the middle of the pit area. The starting line was kind of out on this ramp out here, and then they went around up one of the runways and around a few of the buildings came by, the hangar came down this road and now back to the starting line or finish. It was interesting, it was the longest series race like that in the United States at the time. And it raised a lot of money for the community. Jack Conroy, he was the, of course, the president of Aerospace Lines, a new company. He liked Santa Barbara. So it was his idea to, to move the whole operation to Santa Barbara. I think probably one of the busiest fires that I was on while I was down there was the Murray fire. We had 13 air tankers there at, at any given time. So it was pretty much nonstop all day from sun up to sundown. We've had, over the years, the Dalai Lama come in. He was uh, being hosted by UCSB. Uh, of course, many actors and actresses, politicians. This seemed to be their, one of their whistle stops uh, during uh, election years. So for a small airport, it was, you know, it's a pretty exciting little place, I think, because uh, Santa Barbara area is so progressive. I think the, the finished airport is very beautiful. Uh, it's, it's an example of a community coming together and designing something for the future. But I also feel really proud that we are, were able to um, construct a, a new terminal that meets modern passenger needs and also is beautiful. We wanted to do something that was, uh, to us as artists, um, what inspired us emotionally about Santa Barbara. The airline industry, the aviation industry as we know it, it will, it will change, it will, uh, it will move on, it will add, it will increase. 
Uh, it will do lots of things. The hope is that this core building will allow for that flexibility. I think my favorite days would be when someone solar the first time. I think aviation uh, is unique in a way that it's a family endeavor. It is a small airfield and it is a small community within the airfield. When I was a young kid, the, there were two big treats in my life, and that was to go drive out to the airport, which of course was a, almost a cross-country trip in those days, or go to the railroad station and watch trains. So the airport thing stuck better than the train.